Based on some new studies of supernovae, we're going to launch a new discipline called cosmic ecology. You heard it here first. <laughs> so as Carl Sagan said, there's that famous quote, we're all made from star stuff. And that's the idea basically that all the heavy elements that we need for life, for Earth, the solar system, originated both in stars and when they exploded in these supernova, kind of spreading the elements across the universe and, and, and galaxy. But there's, there's some quirks to that, which we don't actually know how those elements really get into the solar system and, and planetary systems. Placing a supernova really close to a still forming star system can blow away all the matter and kind of upset that delicate balance. Then if you move it really far away, you don't get the exact kind of ratio of elements that we see from our early, early solar system. So there was this really interesting study that came out. They found that if you didn't have it so close, you moved it a little bit further away, then there was this really interesting two-step process where some of the elements we made in the initial supernova explosion, and then after that, there would be followed these cosmic rays which would interact with the matter that was already in the solar system and produce the rest of them. And, and they found that this model really accurately predicted the kind of signatures we see from those early meteorite samples. If supernova can influence planetary formation like that from further away, then that really kind of widens the net of how many Earth-like planets can be made because it means that you don't need to be so close to a supernova to have this kind of intended effect.